So after that wonderful day one of the event, now is the time for the day two of Maker Faire Shenzhen 2023. So the day two started with the event called as Untitled Edge, which was a meetup with the Deloitte Center for the Edge, in which all the guests were invited to communicate and collaborate by sharing what they are working on, what problem they are facing, and how community can come together to help them out. Now here, we got a chance to meet Mr. Dulesha, who is the Managing Director of Deloitte Center for the Edge. Well, I didn't spoke here at this event because I was not working on a specific project and I was not facing any specific problem. But still, after everyone completed their speech, Mr. Dulesha invited me to share my views about how we can help the community and the makers. So I shared my views on the problem and also told some possible solutions that can help the makers out. And that was all about the Untitled Ads Meetup event. And after that, I went back to visit all the stalls one by one. So first we landed up on the stall from Clockwork Pi, which is a company that makes this kind of programmable gaming console and this compact computer based on different processor, including Raspberry Pi and Rockchip. After that, I got to meet my subscribers from China. Oh, I mean, come on, I'm, I'm a big fan of your, your channel. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Thank yeah, you. I'll take a picture. Yeah, sure. Also told me about how useful this compact computers are. And while talking about the product, the guy from the Clockwork Pi was convinced to give me the sample unit of the latest product, which is U Console, which is based on Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. Now here I already uploaded the unboxing and testing video about this product on my channel, whose link you can find in the description of this video. So do check that out. That product is really very amazing. Then further, we were having a couple of stalls that were showcasing the products based on Raspberry Pi, like this one from 52Pi, in which they were having a Raspberry Pi Compute Model 4 cluster, a mini cube, again based on Raspberry Pi CM4, which is the compact Raspberry Pi board with a cooling fan on it. And also, they were having an active cooling tower for Raspberry Pi 5. Further, we were having a stall from Big Tree Tech, which were having the complete touchscreen tablet kind of product with changeable Raspberry Pi Compute Model 4 from the back and also with all the ports accessible. So those were a couple of stalls based on Raspberry Pi products. And then further moving ahead, I landed up on the stall from Creality. Yeah, we do most of the commercial and industrial 3D printers. Okay. And now Creality is a company which makes some of the really best 3D printers in the market and a lot of other things. So they were having some really fast 3D printers and other than that, they were also having some resin printers in the stall and here is the sample print from that resin printer. Then we got to see a 3D scanner which can help us to scan any object in 3D and later we can 3D print it. Further, we were having a small laser engraver and that can not only engrave on the wood but also on aluminum with multi-color. How it can do color for engraving? Yeah, we can color for, we can set a different parameters of the laser and... Of the power? Uh, yeah, the power ah. can hit a different uh, color spa, okay. spot of it. Okay, cool. And in the end, they were also having the sample print of their own rainbow filament. So that was all from the Creality and on the other side, we were also having a stall from Bamboo Lab which is also a popular company in 3D printing segment and they were showcasing their multicolored 3D printers which can do really fast printing with a speed of around 500mm per second. Then, for one more time, I visited the Seed Studio stall as they were also having something more to showcase here. First, you need to put the coins in this, in this. you can check here. One. Two, three, and you can use the two button to take photo and print the photo. Look, yes, look at the camera. One, two, three. Oh yeah, it's already take a photo here. Okay. Now you can print your photo. Okay. Yeah, printing. Nice. And then wait, wait. Now. Oh, it's for you. 
Thank you. It's it's great. Thank you so yes. much. And after leaving the Seed Studio stall, I got to see the Maker Fair robots. So I clicked some photos of myself and also along with Serena. And later we continued exploring the other stalls. So while exploring, we landed up on the stall from Lily Go, where they were having really a lot of products. So at first, I saw the T Display S3 Pro, which was having the built-in camera in it. Then we were having the T Keyboard S3, the T Panels, some T Echo, and then we also saw some really small Lily Go T Keyboard that looks like a phone. And further, we were having some GSM-based boards for cellular communication. A yeah, really lot of products and, and just above it here is the thumbnail of our YouTube video that we have shot for Liligo. It's great to say this. And after Liligo, I landed up on another stall from Lumio Tech and this guy has some really crazy thing to showcase so let us hear from this guy itself. Okay, we got some, uh, some stuff here. Yeah, 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 let's see. So. Um, let me just explain super quickly. What we do at Lumiotech is the attachment system, right? So how do you attach wearables to, you know, people, right? You want to film yourself, maybe? So, yeah, turn it around. There you go. You got nothing prepared. Yeah, nothing But I can still push it on you and have the lights attached to you. Right? Wow! Easy attachment without anything pre-installed. So that's the, that's the magic of Lumiotech. Let me see, let me see. Oh, here we go. Now, this one is just a light, but what we do, we do the back side. We do not do the light, we do not do the front side. You can do, put whatever uh, product you want. But I'm still thinking how it got stuck. Ah, how I, I... <laughs> you want to do this right away? <laughs> okay, you see this? This is the secret sauce, right? So ah. This is the module, um, and each module, they go onto the back side. Now, if you twist this lever, uh, they're very small. Did you see that? Let me show that again. Just uh -huh, very slowly, and ah. there we go. So there are small, small micro threads right, ah. that comes and grabs onto the. Very fibers. smart, very smart, and very smart. So that was Lumio Tech, a really interesting and impressive product. And well, they already partnered with a couple of companies, and they made some really cool products out of it. Let's hear from the guy itself. Okay, so we got a personal alarm here. Okay. Right, so um, you can wear it wherever you want, hidden. Now, if something happens, you can long press it and it will, you know, um, call and send GPS signal to you know, someone on your emergency contact list. Right? So, as you hear, like we are working with many different partners, but at the end of the day, on the back side is Lumio Afghan, on the front side is our uh, partner's brush. Wearable tech for the future. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now after this, it was the time for another satellite event of Maker Fair called as Nantau Asian Town Co-Creation Symposium. It was about our visit to Nantau Ancient Town which has a history of more than 1700 years and it's a very important historical and a cultural landmark of Greater Bay Area. Now here, Seed Studio partnered with 1K Urban Research to come up with the solution of Nantau's challenges while preserving its heritage. So before taking us to explore the technical solution, they took us in a room to show the video about this town and the people living in the town. And trust me, the experience was really outstanding. It feels like I was in the town itself. On the top, there were a lot of projectors properly placed to fill the complete room with the video. A different kind of augmented reality experience without having any kind of glasses on our eyes. So after that video, we went outside to explore the town. Now as this was a Sunday evening, there were a lot of people came to visit Nantau and also I was able to see a lot of cafes on the street. Later, while moving ahead, we get to see a smart trash bin which was having the ultrasonic sensor on the top to check out the level of trash in it and that data was later provided to the SenseCap device which is transmitting the data via LoRa to the gateway and further with the 4G cellular connectivity, they were sending the data to the cloud. 
So we all have seen this kind of smart dustbin based projects in our school and college level but here in China they actually implemented it and they implemented it so efficiently that this battery powered device which is sensing the trash bin can run on a battery for 3 to 5 years and well that's the power of LoRaWAN long range low battery consumption now moving ahead we get to see a smart water meter and now here what they did really smart is they didn't change the existing water meter on all those pipes rather than they have embedded an AI sensor on the top of the water meter that has a camera built in of course that can sense all the meter readings and it can send the actual useful data via LoRa to the gateway and later with the help of the 4G connectivity to the cloud itself. A really smart way to monitor the data without touching the existing solutions. Impressive. Now moving further on the terrace, we get to see the rooftop vegetation and here they have used the Sensecape device that can monitor the parameters of soil and its moisture level and they also made a casing to make a complete weatherproof device to work in all weather conditions. And on the top, they were having a weather station to sense all the weather parameters which are not only sent to the cloud but there was also a display to monitor its real time value on it. So that was our visit to the Nantau Asian town so I will definitely insist you to visit this town whenever you get a chance to visit Shenzhen. So yeah that was my experience of Maker Fest Shenzhen 2023 and I know I was not able to cover the complete event like cover all the stalls, cover all the makers, all the projects and all the events but yeah I tried my best to cover as many things as possible and I hope you got to know something new about this event through this video and I hope you liked this kind of event videos as well if if you liked it well do click the thumbs up button and let the YouTube algorithm know that this video was good and they will eventually promote it with other viewers and if you think I should do more this event visiting videos well do comment your uh, suggestion about which event should I visit next and upload it on YouTube do drop your comments and yeah that being said I am just ending this video here and now just Wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.